Here comes one. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. These Lindy glow spoons have helped me put so many fish on the ice. It's just unbelievable. What a great bait that is. I'll tell you what. A lot of it. There we go. Look at that. That's a beautiful walleye right there. I'll tell you something. A lot of this has to do with the design of the lure and the amount of light. That lure gives off the perfect amount of light to track that fish and get him to strike. That's a beautiful one. I'm going to put him back and we'll start over again. Okay. There he goes. <laughs> I'll tell you something about that. When we think about the light and the glow stick, it might be kind of easy to think, you know, it should shine right in your eye like a flashlight or something like that. But that's really not the idea. What you want it to do is attract and get the fish to strike. But you want it on their terms. You want it the way they see it. Think of it this way. If we're driving down the highway at night and somebody's got their high beam lights on, it's enough to really bother us. But if we could go by that same car, middle of the day, same high beam lights, we would hardly notice it. So don't be worried if you get this bait up and you're looking at it and you're thinking, I, should, I think that should glow some more. It's glowing and it's glowing the perfect amount when it's down there, where it counts, where the fish are. They can see that and it's just right. Their eyes are sensitive. They know and they can see. So keep in mind too, that stick, it's gonna keep glowing. It's gonna go for four to six hours. Every once in a while, if you want to charge it up a little bit, kind of warm it up a few seconds and that'll give it a little bit of extra brightness if that's what you're after. But remember, down under the water where the fish can see it, where it really counts, that spoon is glowing and it's doing just what it's supposed to do, putting out the perfect amount of light to attract and trigger that fish to strike.